Good afternoon, this is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I'm here at 4448 Ethel Avenue in Studio City, and I am in the process of performing a video examination of the main sewer line for Karen Howard. Now, the main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior to the structure. Our examination today uh, is not focused on the building drain line system, so if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted or a specialty building drain line video examination can be sent through our office. So we're currently sitting uh, about 60 feet from where the pipe exits the building down into our public sewer near the middle of the street. Um, I, there's a couple of clean-out accesses, uh, neither of which is a standard main sewer line clean-out. The uh, point of exit, essentially, for the, the drain system. Um, there's one under a green yard box out towards the middle of the front yard at the front uh, by the sidewalk uh, that would uh, provide access from that point out to the public sewer. And then uh, I found a four inch clean out here on the left side uh, of the structure, just inside the sub area access. Uh, so I pushed through about 50 feet of pipe to get outside the structure. Um, pushed through about 50 feet of piping here under the building, and the pipe actually exits right underneath the front porch and turns and runs towards the middle of the yard. And then drops down. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull the camera off the public sewer, examine the line backwards. Uh, we'll just take a look at everything, and then in my written report, I will describe my final findings and recommendations. So kind of a combination of things going on here. As we pull off of the public sewer, uh, we are in a six inch clay piping. This is the original, what we call the lateral pipe, that uh, comes up to the property. <coughs> now, these Original clay pipe materials, they were expected to have a long service life. It's a natural material, being clay, so it's not really expected to deteriorate under that. But uh, it can be brittle in nature and does have a higher potential for damage during seismic activity or earthquakes. As we get back here up closer to the curb face, we're seeing some pretty significant root intrusions. This is, uh, looks like it's isolated to a, a joint area or where two pipe sections connect together. That's a pretty common uh, condition or occurrence in these older clay pipes, and that in itself is not reason to start recommending repairs. Normally, we are suggesting that root intrusions at the joints can be maintained with regular sewer line cleanings. It's when they're left unmaintained for extended periods that they can create blockages, which we're very close to at this point, but they can also damage the pipe itself. In a situation like this, where this pipe is under the street, our visibility is limited. We are definitely recommending a good thorough cleaning of the line and suggesting that the uh, that one should take another look at it. All right. So just as we pull back up under the parkway between the uh, sidewalk and the curb face, we're pulling back into a modern plastic piping material. Now, seeing plastic under this section, especially a four-inch plastic, is unusual. Um, in other words, typically that six inch pipe is going to start right at the sidewalk. Uh, so it's not any way for us to know how this was put in, but we do see sometimes plumbers will uh, just shove a pipe, a four inch pipe down inside the six inch pipe. Don't see that there's any problems there, don't see any roots coming in at that connection, so I'm not going to start causing any alarm. I'm just saying it is unusual. And, uh, continue back, we're going to see a few other unusual practices. Uh, so now we're coming up steeply here, just at the front of the yard, and uh, seeing some debris caught up here on the top of that opening. This is the uh, clean-out. It's actually at the front of the yard. So it looks like something's been backing up, and there's debris caught up in that clean-out. Now, the modern plastic pipes, they, they are expected to have a long service life as well. Um, these modern plastics have a very smooth inner surface that also allows for very high 
or maximum washout capability. In other words, they don't have a tendency to collect debris and have a high potential for blockages. And then uh, the plastic pipes, unlike the clay, are intended to be impervious to root intrusions. So now we're going to pull back through another short section of clay here. For whatever reason, about three feet of clay piping was left here under the middle of the front yard. Uh, when I see this, you, I'm usually speculating that maybe there were repairs done at separate times by different contractors and they didn't really know what was old, what was new. Um, now we're getting back into an area of newer plastic that uh, is not in as good a shape. The connection here from the plastic to the clay pipe, uh, that is intended to prevent roots. And you can see here we've got some root intrusions uh, starting to penetrate through that pipe or that connection. So either the wrong coupling, uh, excuse me, wrong coupling was used. Um, it was improperly installed. You know, it's it's a very uh, varying things could have happened there, but that's something that would dictate repair as well. And then we got maybe 10 feet of plastic here, which again, at this connection, you're starting to see roots coming through it. Also, if you look at the top right of the uh, screen there. So whoever did this section of plastic uh, didn't do as, as good of a job as those connections aren't really holding up. So now we're pulling back towards the, the front porch here, and you're going to see a lot more root intrusion, debris buildup, flow drainage. I think there's another clean out here. And again, another short piece of plastic pipe. So there is a clean out out in the front yard by the porch. We'll find that. But uh, behind it, you can see all this protrusion here, which again is more, more of the same stuff. It looks like it's a joint, but I can't see too well. So it's a situation where I would definitely recommend repair. Now this right here is where the clay starts underneath the front porch and as we pull back up under the structure here we're in a cast iron piping which has also been penetrated by roots a few feet back up under the building so that's something of note as well cast iron pipes when they start allowing roots in that's uh, a direct compromise to the integrity of the pipe that those roots have breached the wall of the pipe and they're not joints or things like that so there's some repairs needed under the structure as well so uh, I'll include this <coughs> photograph and, and video in my written report so that a uh, plumber can use it as a visual aid if need be. <coughs> but um, I would have someone also come out and take a look at the building drain system under the house because that's not what we're focusing on here today. All right, so I'm going to, at this point, wrap up the video portion of the examination. I'll finish up any uh, investigation I, I need to uh, to do here as far as finding that clean out, seeing if it's a two-way access or, or what's going on there. Uh, recommend cleanings, follow-up examinations, all that stuff. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day.